Hello, today I'm going to talk to you about a provision within the CARES Act that is specific to your retirement account. So I tackled the, the three main ones, which was the, the student loans, the unemployment, and the stimulus paychecks. So those are obviously super important, relevant to practically almost everyone. Uh, there's this other component too that I wanted to make sure I address, and it's your retirement account and the uniqueness for the provision is you actually can start withdrawing funds from your retirement account if you're impacted in any way by the coronavirus and not have to pay a 10% penalty. So that's a big deal. Usually that's one of the biggest things that uh, always worries me when, when there's layoffs, when there's any uh, major event that's usually specific to an individual situation. Pulling out from a retirement account, taking a 10% penalty, and a lot of times if it's the traditional IRA or traditional 401k, there's going to be taxes associated on top of that 10% penalty. So just one quick way to just kind of eat up a lot of the balance of your retirement accounts. And so typically I shy away from recommending that or letting that be an option. Now that there's not going to be a penalty, at least for 2020, for any coronavirus related distributions, that does make it a little bit more available, uh, less of a, a penalty or mistake to kind of do, but there's still things that you definitely want to consider. So whether or not you're impacted by the coronavirus, that's a wide kind of list, but the, the most common things that I can think of is you're directly sick as a result of coronavirus, taking care of someone who's sick, or you had to kind of be self-quarantined and that impacted you. Uh, also, if you were laid off for any reason tied to the coronavirus. Uh, then another common one too is if you are unable to, to work and taking care of your child also qualifies you for avoiding the 10% penalty. There's also some additional uniqueness to this same provision. So it's limited to 100,000. So you're not going to be able to take out the, the whole thing if you have a balance greater than that. So that's something to be aware of. But again, at least you don't have the 10% penalty to worry about. Another unique and cool aspect of this, if you did need to pull this strategy into play, is going to be spreading the income over three years. So let's say, for example, someone took that 100000 and actually took it all out this year because they needed it for kind of supplementing their income and making sure bills got paid and, and all that. Well, spreading that over three years is going to be about $33,333 of income for 2020, 2021, and 2022. So that's just pretty generous and it is flexible too. So if you're thinking, well, actually the main reason why I did this is because I'm unemployed and, and so I'm not gonna have a lot of income I would have traditionally had, you can actually tell them, nope, I, I want it all to count for 2020. So you have the flexibility option there to choose. Another crazy but cool aspect is you can actually put the funds back in three years and then have it not count towards your taxes, not count towards your income. And so that's a huge difference from the typical, if you take funds out of your retirement accounts, whether it's IRA, Roth, or traditional 401k, these things, when you take them out, you only have 60 days to put the funds back before they're considered withdrawn early. And so you actually get a three-year window to put the funds back and it doesn't have to be evenly. It could be all at once. It could be just kind of random amounts that you kind of put back into the account. You can save it up and then just do it once all, all in that last day of the third year. So you have some flexibility, some strategies with this if you need to go ahead and pull the trigger. I would definitely say review all of your resources, especially the, the stock market has been hit pretty heavily. So your balance in the stock account and your 401k account and your retirement accounts, it's probably not reflective of what it was even a month or two ago. So that's something to be aware of. If, if you place the sell button now, if you take the funds out, you are locking in any of the kind of short-term losses that we experienced over the last month and a half. And so you'd have to be really comfortable with kind of giving that up. But usually 401k is break in case of emergency one of the, the last lines of defense, it should be emergency savings. Uh, there's going to be some employment benefits coming your way, uh, most likely. And then you start looking at things that are not in retirement accounts. So if you have employer stock, some non-retirement type investments, uh, that's another area you can look. There might be a, the opportunity to do a cash out refinance on your home or have a home equity line of credit. So there's all these different layers before you get to this 401k option that I would typically look into. Obviously, I don't know your specific situation, so you want to make sure you think through this full process. If you're laid off right now, if there's any 
issue that is causing you to look at this. I'm sure there's a lot of financial stress, a lot of things going on. One thing that I'm able to do is, so there's no minimum investment amount to work with me. So you can decide if that's something that makes sense. If you need to work with someone, you can see if the value and the costs end up making sense to work with someone like myself. So definitely get a more comprehensive approach to make sure that your goals and things that you're trying to achieve match up with your actions. And I know this is a unique time period where some of your hands are going to be forced on this, but there's no reason to make mistakes or do the wrong thing because you're stressed out and fearful. Uh, We'll kind of come from a, a place of clarity and understanding what the situation is and then make the best decision based off of all that information. So yeah, feel free to reach out if you think that I'd be able to provide some value in order for you to navigate these times confidently.